With iOS 15, Apple has made some significant changes to Safari, the most obvious being that they moved the address bar. I did a video covering all the changes, which I'll link to below, but if you're really not sold on the new interface, you can easily switch between the old and the new by clicking on the font size icon and choosing Show Top Address Bar. To switch back again, click on the font size icon again, and this time choose Show Bottom Tab Bar. You can do the same thing from within settings by scrolling down, clicking on Safari and choosing between Tab Bar and Single Tab. Note that in landscape mode, you also have a tab bar, which looks like this. If you don't like the look of those tabs taking up all that real estate, simply head back into Safari settings and disable this option. Now you have the old single tab view, both in portrait and landscape mode. The other option you may have noticed in Safari settings is website tinting. I think this only works in the new tab bar view, but basically if I disable it, then enable it again, you'll instantly see what it does. So with website tinting off, you can see the gray bar at the top of the page. If I switch back and enable tinting, the gray bar is now gone and Safari looks to replicate the color being used on the website. So that is how to revert back to the old Safari. If you missed my video demonstrating how you can customize your Safari homepage, then you might be interested in watching this. With the address bar now at the bottom of Safari in iOS 15, the easiest way to access your homepage is to swipe right. By swiping right, your homepage will always be the last tab displayed. You can also get to it by clicking on the tab button, followed by the plus icon, like as before, in iOS 14. And if you long press on the tab button, you have the option to close all tabs, which will also bring you back to your home page. Once there, click on the edit button at the bottom of the page to change your Safari's home page. You can decide what you want to see on your start screen. For instance, if you're not interested in the privacy report, you can choose to remove it. And if you prefer to have your iCloud tabs higher up the page, you can click and drag to reorder the list. You can also choose a different background for your homepage by enabling background images. Click on the plus button to add your own photo, but I'll opt for this one provided by Apple. If you don't like the address bar being at the bottom of the page, you can change it back at any time by clicking on the font size icon and choosing show top address bar. Then as before in iOS 14, to access the homepage, just click on the tab icon followed by the plus button. You can then customize your home page in the same way by scrolling down and clicking on edit. Visit the website for lots more tips on iOS and all your favorite apps. And if you found this video useful, I'd appreciate you giving me a like and hit subscribe for lots more quick videos like this one. Until next time, thank you very much for watching.